We now introduce the concept of HACCP. What is HACCP? It is an acronym for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point or Points. So what does that mean? In a broad sense, it is a food safety management system that analyzes for possible hazards all along the food process chain within your organization. Once identified, those risks or hazards are then investigated deeper for methods of mitigating exposure events, educating employees about it, as well as verifying that the system is effective and documenting all along the way. Granted, this is still a lot to take in all at once, so we'll break it up into a couple pieces before we go into each of the seven steps. Generally speaking, the concept is that you want to identify as many of the potential risks that food may encounter as it travels through your organization. From raw material production to procurement and handling, manufacturing, all the way to consumption and then determine where those risks are located and how to control or prevent them from occurring. You will also want to document how to avoid or manage the identified risks and how personnel are going to be educated and then observe and document how well a system works. A few more points before we start discussing the steps. When it comes to food production, the primary focal point of the food safety plan is minimizing or eliminating any contamination of the food in order to keep it safe for consumers. This will include biological contaminants, including bacteria, mold, viruses, parasites, biological toxins, and fungi. Chemical contamination would include the addition of harmful chemical agents into the food supply. Physical contamination is the result of contaminants such as metal shavings from opening a can or other items falling into the food. It is important to note that accidental contamination as well as deliberate contamination attempts must be addressed. A critical control point or CCP is the point where if the system step controller procedure is not properly followed or implemented, a contamination event could or is more likely to occur. An example of a CCP in food service could be cooking food to a predetermined temperature for a specific length of time. One last set of items prior to diving into the seven steps must be presented. These items include the preparation tasks that must first be done before your HACCP plan can be started. And these will be covered in our next video.